I'm gonna get started in like just a minute. All right, it's game time. Let's go. Welcome to the live stream. I'm gonna turn down the music just for my own ears. Um, yeah, I got a got a client project that I've been working on, and basically, I am going to build a nature landscape from scratch, most likely. But I am tempted. Uh, I have been looking at some plugins for Blender, and I think it's about time that I up. Um, up the game a bit but uh first one bot botanic uh by polygon i don't know if i'm pronouncing any of these right i don't really care though uh super popular uh you can see right here in the blender market over 7400 sales and basically five stars um polygon's a great company for blender users um and you can use their materials and other programs uh, the other one that I'm torn between, and I've heard them say, and I can never pronounce it, but Groswald. Uh, I've seen a few people that I follow use it, and I've been playing around with their free plugin. Um, they do have a free plugin for 2.93 2 in Blender. Uh, I will be trying that out a little bit more in the stream, as I was uh, practicing earlier. The other one is Scatter 4.0 not i they also have a free uh free beta for scatter 5 which will be in the blender 3.0 release that i believe is coming up so soon we got calvin in the chat what's going on man yeah so scatter um has a like i said has an open beta and you can kind of demo it i also have that in my scene over here in my plugins, uh, Scatter, and then the Graswald free plugin. But most likely, I am gonna buy one of these. One of these two, most likely. Uh, I want to do uh, polygons just because they do have animated stuff in there. And not that you can't animate 
Groswald, but I also do love the idea of having pre-animated um, nature assets. Definitely one thing to consider, uh, and this may happen in stream, is working with nature assets. Generally, you're working with a lot of geometry, which is gonna kind of bog down the scene. So I'm just gonna put up my task manager just in case things get a little dicey and I have to close down or crash something. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, I'm in Blender 2.93.1 today. Generally, I like to work in 2.9 or 2.91 just because like all of my plugins work in those. Uh, I do have I have been updating my um, updating 2.93 to be up to date, but kind of holding out for Blender 3.0 because uh, I believe it's going to be super dope. But let's get into it. Uh, this is just the scene I created the thumbnail for of this live stream. This is a combination of me using my own prior techniques of just making it from scratch, which I'm gonna start doing, and then uh, we're gonna probably mess around with some of the plugins first. So, I'm just gonna start with a whole new, brand new scene, and let's get into it. All right, so 2.93, starting off from basics. I'm just gonna get my workstation set up the way I like it. good and then we'll just delete everything and first thing I'm gonna do and if you don't if you are wondering how I have this set up this is a plugin that's built into blender I believe it's called ANT landscapes yeah, let's see if I can find it uh, right here um, at, just go to your preferences add-ons and then go to add mesh ANT landscape really awesome built-in plugin for Blender that allows you to import really nice landscapes. Uh, if you have the money, I highly rec check recommend checking out World Creator, which is a plugin or er, a software that I really want to use, but I just don't have $200 to drop on it. Uh, and I haven't been doing enough nature scenes to justify dropping the money. So under mesh landscape popping in uh, always gonna drop down to this little checkbox and what's really cool about this plugin is there are plenty of um, different options uh, built-in presets and you can adjust all of these which is super cool and can add a lot of time to what you're trying to achieve just because you can get super customizable with them but um try cauliflower hills it's like kind of nice Um, let's see what else. Mounds. Mounds could be good. We'll definitely adjust this more. Alright, so that's mounds. Large terrain. It's kind of nice. Um, not, well, we might add a mountain in the back. Let's try Voronoi Hills. It's like, a. it's like when you melt marshmallows all together in a pot. That's what it looks like. Uh, let's see. Go back to Cauliflower Hills. This could be the move. Uh, let's just mess around with some of the settings. Three by three by three. Uh, so yeah, this is just one option. Um, I may keep it, I may not. It already has a ton of geometry in it, so. But you can adjust the height. So you want higher hills. I kind of want to go the opposite, a little bit lower. Uh, maybe it's too low. Mm, not sold. Ooh. Oh yeah, so uh, once you click out of that window, it kind of like locks the, um, locks everything into place. So I'm just gonna delete this. 
open up a, another landscape and it'll have all of the settings from what you were just working on. Uh, da, 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 large terrain might be the move. Yeah, let's just do large terrain. Just run with it, you know what I'm saying? Let's crank down the height a little bit. Just some simple... Definitely, if you want to add more subdivisions, make things look a lot cleaner, you can always do that, but we're just going to keep it basic. Um, add water plane, that could be kind of dope, but all right, let's just run with this. Click out. So this is the landscape we're working with. A um, couple ridges, keeps it on edge. Uh, if you tab into edit mode, you can see the geometry uh, is super heavy. It's probably because it's a large terrain. Actually, I'm going to... We're not doing this one. We're gonna go back to one of the other ones, the cauliflower hills or something like that. I can't. Geometry wise, 128 by 128 is a lot better. And then like I said, I can just, just some of these. Oh. Maybe, maybe if we just bump down the subdivisions. Up the noise. And then drop the height down. Point six. All right, let's roll with this. Uh, as you can see, tab in edit mode, little less daunting, but still. But you can adjust any of this. Um, so if I was to tab into edit mode, select a bunch of these vertices, and say I want to raise it, uh, first thing I do is to turn on this section right here, which is proportional editing. Um, this basically will allow you to edit, and it'll kind of adjust a lot of different. All, all around the vertices you have selected. If I was to toggle it off, you get sharp. It's like a whole, so much more sharp. Um, so just something to keep in mind. All right, let us bring in some assets uh, that I already have. I'm gonna bring in some grass. Uh, let's do some buttercups. Daisies, some more grass, maybe like a rock. Ah, oh, we'll, we'll save the rocks. I have some. I have some better options. All right, so I just brought all those assets in. Uh, you can't see them because they're underneath the landscape at the moment. I'm gonna put them in a different collection, and then we're gonna just bring them down. Next thing I want to do is, and you can do these in different. Uh, steps, but I'm gonna add uh, weight paint to this landscape, which is basically drop down this tab. It's one, basically, you'll find it in this tab, I should say. Um, you have all your brush settings. Uh, I'm just gonna go with draw, weight one, radius 50 pixels. Uh, but you essentially, you can just kind of go and paint over different sections, and this is basically like a guide for um, the grass. So this is really nice when you're designing landscapes and you want things to be in different clutters. Uh, let's just add a little bit more. So obviously the dark red is where a lot of the assets are going to get placed once you start putting in particle systems. And then the other section, like the green and the dark blue, less in the dark and the green, and then in the dark blue, there's going to be like nothing. 
But this is a really cool way, uh, especially like I said, if you don't have any plugins to mint, just kind of build your own landscapes and really customize them. Uh, and this will save you a lot of time than importing asset after asset, trying to just manually place them until you have a scene. So we just got into, go back into object mode. Um, wait a second. Uh, so we need to make a vertex group. Um, I believe we'll call it density one. Next up, uh, back into object mode, we're gonna click on our landscape and we are gonna go to particle system right over here. We're gonna add a new particle system. I'm gonna call this grass. We're gonna switch it from a meter, meter to hair. We're gonna check advanced. Uh, I'm gonna start with a thousand. Now keep in mind, you are adding thousands of extra geometry and all of these assets have their own geometry. So you just keep that in mind when you're playing around with this, but we're gonna check hair dynamics, uh, velocity, we'll leave rotation, we'll check and we're gonna do, I think it's global Y, but I'll double check that. And then under render, we're gonna switch it from path to object and I'm going to select, we'll do start with the grass stalk. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can go about this. Um, you can either do it to an object or you can do it to a collection. So if I really wanted to kind of speed this process up, I can make a new collection. We'll call this grass mix and let's just move all the grass assets into this collection go back to our landscape under the particle settings and we're going to switch it to collection and then for instance collection we're going to do grass mix uh let's see all right so i have the rotation wrong let's make sure i get it right global z um and then if you do whole collection, it scatters them all over the place. Now, the next step I need to do is I need to attach the vertex group to our landscape. Oh, I see like a lot of them that are like not technically attached and that's kind of concerning. I did do the landscape, right? All right, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, so let's just add our vertex group um, under here. Keep scrolling down. There's going to be a density one. I'm just going to select density one and let us. Now you can see that it's basically only where the weight paint is, not in the dark blue. So this is a super useful tool. Like I said, when you're just trying to, per you can and you can add more to it. So if I just add some more painting paint up along the edges. So now we only, we only have like a thousand of these. Let's up the intensity to say 10,000. And let's save in case we crash. Uh, landscape. Cool. Saved. Uh, let's start taking a look at what this guy might look like. Uh, I'm going to go to HDRI Haven for a good HDRI. If you're ever in need of HDRIs, this is the spot. They got textures too. Uh, I like this evening meadow right off the jump. Uh, 4K, 2K, we'll do 4K. Roll the dice. So while that loads, we'll get our environment texture set up, plug it in. It's gonna turn everything purple until I attach it. And I think I remember it was called Evening Grass. Evening Meadow. See how this looks. And I do believe I'm in Eevee at the moment. I'm gonna switch it over to Cycles. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's gonna take a minute. What's going on? Why don't we have any, oh there we go. So yeah, we're in Eevee. Let's see. Let's just switch over to cycles. Something weird's going on. Oh, maybe GPU compute would be better. I'm seeing like dark darkness somewhere in the grass, which I'm not a huge fan of, but let's work with it. I'm actually gonna on our landscape, I'm gonna tab and I'm just gonna start getting rid of some geometry that I know I'm not gonna use. Uh, less vertices means easier render times. Um, and then, all right, still cut down a lot more. And let's pop a camera into our scene. And let's get out of shader view. So yeah, let's just get it set up get a nice view going make sure we're just optimizing what we do have in our scene and let's pop into render view again and yeah we got we got a pocket that we need to fill so yeah the cool thing about way paint is you can just go in and change it as need be and then I believe also to remove, let's see, maybe it's just alt. Um, I honestly forget how to remove. I'm sure I can find it. Gradient, average, blur. I always forget how to remove. Is that all? I think it is all. Um, let's try it. I'm just gonna do something over here. You can already see my. Whoa! It's not what I wanted to do. All right, we gotta maybe add more geometry to fill this thing out. 15,000. Is that enough? Oh, one thing we can do to kind of make this scene a little bit better is add, because right now our landscape, if I was to turn off the particle settings, um, it's just, it's blank, you know? So let's just add a realistic looking landscape um, I'm going to use Quixel Bridge just because they have amazing 3D, um, or just 3D textures you can use. Uh, that one looks kind of nice. Alright, yeah, let's download this. We're going to keep it at 2K. Not sure how long I'm going to be streaming for today. Uh, I definitely, if depending on what time I get back, I do have to head out to the city in like a few, like an hour or two. 
but um, I definitely want to do a late night stream because I will be working more so on the client project itself uh, than kind of doing what I'm doing now. Ooh, that's funky. That is not what I want. What's going on? Is it upside down? No way. Something's being... Hey, let's go. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I saw. I only saw a little bit of your stream last night, Calvin. But uh, I saw what you were doing. Um, I thought the TV idea is dope. I think just graphics in general that do that are pretty awesome. Um, yo, that's kind of whack. What's going on here? That's not the texture I asked for. Let me turn off the HDRI and see if that's messing with us. Nice, let's go. Yeah, I mean, the more you can kind of add to it, like, definitely gives it a little bit more realism to it. There's, um, there's a couple of, I want to say they're, like, they do, like, concert edit edits, but they will take, like, still images and, like, Photoshop composites, break it into layers, bring it into After Effects, and then just add so much more camera motions and stuff. It's incredible. I'll have to, uh, go on YouTube, or, uh, Instagram and see if I can find them and send them over. Oh, I can't figure out why that's not working the way I want it to. That doesn't look like what I wanted it to. Let's just try another one. Try this one, see if it loads in better. Not like literally, I just did this in right before I started streaming and it was working fine. Oof, something's up. I can't tell where it's being lit. Let me just try something real fast. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Does it not work with landscapes? Alright, we're just gonna scrap the landscape then. We're gonna bring in this plane and... Just gonna make a landscape from scratch. I was doing this the other day, uh, rather than like UV unwrapping things, and just gonna. Do this real fast. A little 10 by 10. <laughs> and we're gonna apply both these modifiers now we got a little 10 by 10 grid bring it in uh, just making a landscape from scratch easiest way to do that tab into edit mode you see the geometry we're working with I'm gonna subdivide it one more time get a little bit more geometry going and then let's start highlighting some oh let's try faces turn on proportional editing
What's really cool about doing stuff this way is you can really like add layers to your scene and just customize it to how you want. Uh, quick tip, uh, especially when you're in edit mode uh, and you want to switch between faces, edge, edges, and vertices, uh, you can simply just hit one, two, or three. So one would be for vertices, two would be for edges, and three would be for faces. Quick little tip. Um, and then also when you have proportional editing, which is this button over here, you can switch it from smooth to spear. Got a whole bunch of other, so like if I did random, uh, let's just select a bunch. I think we have some seams. Um, you gotta be careful with how you do that, but something to consider. Um, so now we got our scene. I'm just gonna shade it smooth. Uh, maybe add more subdivisions. That might clean it up a hair. All right, good enough. Uh, let's go back into weight paint and just paint out our scene a bit. Definitely a lot more towards the front of our scene. In this back area. Nice. Cool. Uh, let's go back to... Let's add a particle system. Hair. Advanced. Add hair dynamics. Rotation. You know, the whole nine yards. We'll hit grass mix. Make sure it's set to collection, or if you're just doing one object, do it that way. And then... Density, group one. I was in uh, edit mode the whole time. Gotta re-select the collection. And then we're gonna up the particle count to 10,000 again. And then, looking pretty bland, as you can see, we'll just do a material preview. Uh, everything looks pretty uniform, which grass is never, like, you gotta think about it. Grass is competing for sunlight, so all, there's gonna be different size grass. So for rotation, uh, I'm gonna up it to like a point one seven five. see if that changes what we want. And then I think what'll really set it apart is give it some scale randomness and then um, maybe add a little bit more to our rotation this is where I get kind of nervous because you start upping particle particle system counts and really starts cranking up the geometry It's also streaming, so that might play a factor into it. Uh, so it's kind of big. I might scale her down a bit. Oh, other way, other way. Yeah, let's get out of render view. And uh, so your scene starts getting bogged down like it is like for mine. You can just check that off and now I can make my adjustments a lot easier. Something to consider. All right, let's see how we look. It's not bad. I'm gonna add like 5,000 more particles and watch me burn. <laughs> yeah, let's. I'm gonna keep bumping up some some sliders just to get some variation. Nice. Um. 
Yeah, so this is just one quick way to get some photoreal looking environments. I'm just gonna do a quick test render and hope that the world doesn't burn on me. I also gotta check my phone because I'm looking out for some text messages. Yeah, so I got 25,000 grass particles in here. Definitely could do a whole lot more to make it look a little bit more realistic, but for stream sake, we're gonna try and keep it as minimal as possible. I definitely, it doesn't look like the texture is for some reason sticking to whatever I set it to. Yeah, so this is just the landscape. There's no background. I didn't keep the HDRI on. Yeah, this scene could use a whole lot more work, to be honest. But, the next thing I'd probably do is add some more particle system layers on top of it. Spruce in some flowers, maybe some rocks, some twigs, some fallen leaves, maybe put a tree in the scene. Like I said, I don't know how much I can get away with that, just because it's just going to be such a huge file size and I don't think my GPU could take it at the moment but we'll see what else we can do I'm not gonna just can the scene right away all right so that's just the grass it's just a material preview Maybe if I go into the shader editor and maybe we just play around with, um, let's see, what if I check the roughness? Turn the roughness off. Maybe it's the HDR, HDRI and the way it's uh, set up. It's always good to play around with different things, like the lighting. Um, probably wouldn't just light the scene with an HDRI, but for our sake, that's what we're going with. I'm in material preview. Let's play around with some more. Let's actually pop the HDRI on and let's see if we can match where the sunlight is. Just gotta figure out where it is. I wanna say it was in that left corner. All right, so the sun looks like it's coming from that direction. Just like, just behind the camera. So what I'm gonna do is actually add a sun lamp. And then... Once again, like I said, if your uh, viewport starts to get bogged down, just turn off the viewport setting for the particle system. And let's see if we can line this up to be kinda like how too high. Yep, 
Yo, Mr. House, how's it going? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try and we'll get the particle system back going and let's just turn off the HDRI and just see if we get a little bit better of a lighting result from that. It's gonna take a hot second to render. Now normally you can line things up with the HDRI, uh, but I always find that it's hard to... Ooh, what do we got going on over here? That's intense. I don't like what's going on there. It looks like there's like a thousand extra hairs. Uh-oh, is that happening underneath? Ooh, what is that? That's not supposed to be happening. Did I add another particle system? Oof, what? I swear this was not happening like an hour before I started this and all of a sudden now I'm getting all these weird just render issues like I don't know why there's a hair system underneath my landscape let me try turning it on and off again I mean, most importantly the scene still is looking alright but alright let's just see how it looks with the sun lamp and then I will probably delete this monstrosity and start a new scene because it's not going great, I'll say that. Yeah, it's chunking away. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump down the number of grass particles and kind of start playing the manager game of saying we've, we've gone a little too far for what the stream can handle and then my way to fix this is just kind of condense oh other way other way just keep condensing our scene Let's see if that helped See what the task manager says. All right, we're still okay. All right, ten thousand. You win, Blender. Definitely one of the things you have to get used to doing is just waiting, waiting for Blender to do its thing. Um, maybe let's get rid of some more geometry. not in camera I'm trying to get rid of it definitely if anyone has questions don't hesitate to ask them There is something really funky being going on. Like that, this should not be happening. 
and that's probably what's causing the whole scene to be like really bad. Um, oh, I think it's because of the sun. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Yep. I'm a fool. So the reason why that was happening was because uh, I have the particle system set to this collection, Grass Mix, and the sun was in Grass Mix, so it was basically simulating like a hundred suns. It's not what we wanted to do. <laughs> Glad we solved that issue. We can continue on. Um, do some other cool things. Uh, let's just add another particle system. We're gonna set it to like one. Uh, let's do like 250. I don't know why that. Like I said, there's some weird things going on in the stream. We'll just act like it didn't happen. Oh, okay. We're good. So I'm gonna check through all the same boxes. I'm gonna add another collection, and for collection, we're gonna do. We're gonna name it Flowers, though. And we don't see them at the moment, but never fear, we'll get them. I think the rotation at the moment is off. Let's uh, let's turn off our first particle system and see where the, the flowers are being set to. I could probably add some more. So, I could basically add another vertex group to this, um, and if I wanted to add a second vertex group, um, let's pop in here. So right now that's group one. If we just add a second group, we can start from scratch, and I kind of want the flowers to be more so like in patches. Maybe creep up the hill a bit. And then uh, definitely want some right at the camera. So we're going to call this one flower and we're going to call this one grass. Back to object mode. And then click on our plane, go back to particle settings, and let's add a density flowers. And I think what's end, what's happening is that the flowers are being drowned by our plant or our grass. So we'll just up the size of them a bit, and then let's just add the grass back in. And then quick easy fix for the grass if we switch over to the grass system, which always good to name things when you can. Um, like this is grass, flowers, turn off grass for the second, flowers, probably give it point 0.1 at this point, um, jump it down to like 350, or maybe, let's actually adjust the, give it a little bit more space. Uh, am I on the right one? Yeah, I'm on flowers. All right, so now let's bump the scale down of our grass a little bit so that the flowers kind of poke through. See how that works. Getting there. So I'm still not seeing the flowers the way I want them to. So a lot of it's just trial and error. Debating whether it's better to bump the grass down in size or to keep pushing the flowers. 
Actually, that's a little bit better. Mm, Alright, let's get a good camera view. Push it in a little bit further. And down. That was too far. It's not bad. Cool. Um, now we're gonna pop into Quixel Bridge and I'm just gonna add in some uh, higher, higher resolution assets just so that, uh, oh wow, they got grass clumps themselves. Ooh, I kinda like these flowers. All right, we'll do the 4K, we'll just, we'll just run it, you know what I'm saying? Quixel Bridge, super dope. Highly recommend checking it out. Owned by Epic Games. Um, really great way to just get some super nice looking uh, assets for scenes. That'd be kind of cool. Um, be really cool to put a river in this scene. But kind of past that point of... Maybe a stone wall. That'd be kind of cool. Well, I think our flowers are locked and loaded. We just got to export them. Still loading. So once again, keep in mind, whenever you're adding in 4K resolution assets, it's gonna definitely add more time to renders and just in general bog down your scene. I think I can still bump down the grass just ever so more. And maybe if we up it to like 1250. Yeah, so this is all done without plugins. It's just really about having the 3D assets available. Um, and I've been accumulating 3D models for two or so years, so I definitely have plenty. But um, it's good to just store them, you know? You never know when you're gonna need something. Keep them well organized is a huge one. I can't. Um, can't tell you how many times I've gone looking for something and then like you're just unable to find it you're kind of pissed off at yourself yeah so there's a lot of cool things that you can add um, like Quixel is super nice for photorealism just because all of all of their assets are mainly photo scans um, Yeah, so like if I add this, I hope it's a, uh, okay, it's 4K. Sorry if this is taking a little bit longer than expected. I'm really going for the gold on this one. Word, I got about like 30-ish more minutes that I can stream for before I gotta head to Boston and then uh, probably be back maybe towards like 11.30 p.m. And that's where I'm gonna just kinda put my head down and work on this client project and see if I can crank it out. Oof, we uh, we definitely hit a uh, wall on my internet connection.
Quixel Bridge. Yeah, they have all different types of environments. Um, can make some really high detailed scenes. All right, well, while those load, let's see if I can, I can take the background that I had for the last scene. <laughs> So same thing's happening again where I put the photo in the wrong section and now I'm paying the price for it. Uh, I'm going to also turn off the grass because that's what's just bogging us down. Like the Flowers isn't so bad when you only have like 250 uh, 3D models in the particle system, but... Uh, this is something I like to do from time to time. If you can find backgrounds that you know, fit, you can kind of get away with adding them in the scene, but uh, sometimes they don't look super great, so this might need some action. It would help to have a HDRI that fits a little bit better. Like, I think we ended on even meadow. Let's try suburban field. Once again, this is Poly Haven. They got great HDRIs that are free. Got a little free. Yeah, I think uh, Quixel Bridge really is. Just wanted to add one asset. Um, okay, let's just let's just run with it. I'm gonna once again turn off anything that could be slowing me down because the next item I'm gonna add into our scene is a tree and let me tell you there are a lot of polygons on trees realistic tree pack um, ooh, I don't want object actually no there's collection I'm going to load all these in and then I'm just going to sort through them and figure out what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. Yeah, that's an issue. Yeah, get rid of some of these. And I kind of want to get a preview of what they look like before I delete them, but. They're huge. All right, whatever this one is. say goodbye to you you are the weakest link um, maybe just keep the maple I feel like that's gonna fit the best Oh, nice. Our, our Quixel Bridge finally loaded, but I think we uh, we froze Blunder. Um, yeah, let's get rid of some.
Oh, we might crash. Oh, we're back. Uh, okay, before we do crash, quick save. All right, we're saved. Now, like I said, once again, we just gotta start getting rid of anything that we're not gonna use. Because it's totally swallowing our our, uh, our GPU at the moment. Anyone got any 3090s they want to hand out to me? tree don't need you goodbye to you goodbye to you goodbye to you goodbye to you and you're the pine goodbye to you oh nice now we should only have one tree you can get rid of all these groups that don't need to be there um, Nice. Uh, now we got one tree. Perfect. It is huge. Come on down. Oh, does anyone know how big maple trees are? see how this looks just straight up that's not bad it's not bad maybe we sink it a little bit all right let's add back in our particle systems and let's see what we're working with all right the sky could probably be further away that's my consensus I think those Quixel bridge assets just loaded in, so let's pop them back into our scene. And I'm going to start a new group. We'll call it Quixel. Do I dare subdivide one more time? <laughs> um, what I can do is I can fix this horizon line. Still on, I need to keep it on smooth, like Chris smooth. That's not bad. All right. All right, we got one tree. Let's go back into Quixel, see how things are doing. Our rocky path appears to be ready to roll. We're gonna export it. Hopefully it doesn't fail on me. If, all right, looks like we're getting there. Ooh, too big. What I like about these Quixel, ass Quixel assets can be, um... Yo, Chris moves the realest, man. Like, I remember I was in college in, like, 20, 2013, and, like, he was doing 2K streams back then, and he's just, he's just kept it real. I mean, he 
does other stuff other than 2k but it's just super cool to just see him still grinding to this day also he's OP at that game <laughs> um, this is a great way to just add some detail into your scene um, I have a feeling that because of the way I put the the weight paint in this it's not gonna look right Maybe we just kind of bring it to the back. I mean, yo, real talk though, like, uh, he was doing, like, ad stuff with, like, Big Poppy and a bunch of other people, like, except dudes, dude hustles. And he's good at, he's just good at commentating too. Like, I don't think watching 2K basketball really suits me anymore, but whenever he's doing like one of his playthroughs, like he's entertaining, man. He's got his own catchphrases and whatnot. And dude's just a real one. Don't know how I'm gonna put this in my scene. I don't even know if that's gonna look the way I think it is. All right, bring it back. Let's, uh, let's get a quick preview. All right, definitely is gonna look better close up. Might not, it just might not also be the right asset. It's a little too dark in my opinion. It's like a forest scene that that would be good for. Uh, I am seeing like a little bleed through right there. Let's see if any of the other assets loaded or if I can, um, actually rural will probably be a lot better. All right, let's get these in there. Might bump down the flower count a hair. Maybe add one more tree in too. All right, we really only have like two options. Like I said, collect your assets as as need be. Oh, they're huge. All right, so let's duplicate this tree and we'll bring it over. Scale it down. make sure yo that would be wild uh, that movie's just absolutely incredible highly recommend checking out the new Marvel film if anyone hasn't seen it I've seen it twice in theaters and I will say it was worth it Gotta take off the particle system to really be able to focus on these new plants. I don't think color-wise, and you'd find these in this um, this 
the setting, but... Um, so it came with like 14 different styled plants, so same concepts, you can take these and set them in a particle system and spread them out over the scene. Uh, I'm just going to start deleting some, oop, don't want to do that, I like that one, get rid of that one, looking for the smaller ones to be honest. Smaller. Uh, I'm really messing up this. I need to delete the empty. Oh, I totally messed up the scene now. Checking out what time I got. 7.40. Alright. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. Still like a hair too big. Delete that one. Delete that. I really don't think these flowers fit with, like this scene, but. We're just going to go with it, just for the sake of it. Alright, now... We're going to scale it up, because I totally misjudged. They're all attached to an empty too, which is really messing up where I want to set them in our scene. Let's just see. Let's just see how that looks. I will most likely delete. Did it, the flowers not turn on? Maybe let's just get one good rock instead of these uh, these flowers. Just one good rock, that's all we need. <laughs> um, ooh, meadow, it's kind of where, it's kind of what I'm aiming for. wall especially growing up in New England there's a lot of these like rock these just mossy rock walls just from like 1900s 1800s and probably even the 1700s just because that's kind of what you find out here. All right, that's gonna take a hot minute to um to load. Like I said, we're getting this weird like bleed through that I would like to fix, but um, we're gonna wait for this to load in. We're gonna basically probably hit render once we get it in there in a good spot. 
I'm trying to think of what else I could add. I might have like a bicycle. Especially with bigger scenes, uh, this is basically how you operate, unfortunately. That's like the only real way you can, uh, you can get work done. Uh, oh! Stream might have went down for a hot second. Apologies. Um, Redownloading that asset because it did not download. And I'm just going to take a quick quick peek through my assets and see if I got anything that I can add to this scene. that whole thing I was saying earlier about making sure that you have all of your um, everything uh, labeled because you go looking for something that you know you have somewhere but you're never gonna find it let's just try downloads generally if you can't find it in your downloads you never had it to begin with Let's check on the bridge. 90%. But yeah, the two two plugins that I wanted to get to that I'm torn between. Uh, this first one, uh, Graswald. Um, like I said, this is a free trial thing you can get. And then the other one is Scatter. Scatter 5. I wasn't huge on Scatter when I was testing it out, so... Chances are I'm not going to be on... Not gonna purchase that one, but the other one I haven't been able to try is um, Botanic or Botanic. One of them. They have animated trees and grass, and that's like a huge sell for me. Um, let's see if I can figure out a good place to put this. Is it just like one side's mossy and the other side isn't? Oh, don't want to do that. Actually, maybe I do want to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a tilt, raise it up a bit. Um, let's just get this place somewhere in our scene that it looks a little bit more natural. Alright. Let's just see how it looks. say it kind of it just kind of blends too much into the horizon line right now so if I make it smaller
Yeah, we're just gonna keep mm, kind of building our own little rock wall to go along in the scene. We gotta keep it with the moss on the same side. It's gonna look a little too bland, but... Let's just see how we're looking with, uh... So yeah, now you can see that it's super covered up, and we can just do a quick little adjustment and get it back up, back up to the right height. It's probably not the right scale, to be honest. Um, I don't really like it at all where it is, so we're gonna Once again turn it off the particle system just to get through faster Gotta find the sweet spot of where I like it. Pause. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, rather than try and rescale that up, we'll just take this one. Shifty. See if I can like force the perspect the uh, perspective with these. I like this one. I can't really find the good a good angle for this one. Check it out. Doesn't help that the flower is like all up in its grill. Like, normally flowers would not be here. Maybe I can figure out, as my time ticks shorter and shorter, Let's see if I can remember how to remove. Oh, there's such a simple way, uh, way to do this. Pressure, size pressure, options. Nope, it's not all. That's like usually the go to one. Uh, control. How to remove.
Hmm, I don't quite know. Alright, well, I'm almost out of time, so I'm just gonna do a quick render. I said I'm gonna turn all the particles stuff off while rendering, just because there's no need to bog down my system. Um, just do like 300, we'll turn on the denoiser, and let's just run it. Let's do a quick run. We're gonna do 2560 by 1440. All right, cool quick save and we're gonna render I'm imagining this could take like 10 minutes just alone I'm already seeing major issues with the render is the landscape not in all right let's try that one more time Something funky is happening. All right, let's just see it through. Like that's not supposed to happen. Maybe I'm not doing 2K resolution. It's going to take 12 minutes. Just cut the render down in half. Cool, so that's gonna render out. Uh, I'm gonna mute the mic for a second while I just get some things ready because I'm about to head out. We'll let it run. Like I said, it's looking a little off and I couldn't quite figure out why that is. Um, at least not right now. Uh, it might take a little longer than I was expecting. I'm not even seeing the trees. Alright, yeah. I'm going to meet the mic, just going to get started getting ready, and uh, I'll be back in a minute.
All right, we're still going. Just got some stuff ready. Yeah, something whack is really happening in this scene, and I can't figure out what it is. But you can kind of tell in the horizon line, like none of the grass is there. And it don't look that great. Also, the clouds are way off because the horizon line doesn't exist. We'll see it through, though. The other one I did for the, the live stream thumbnail, um, I used the same background and whatnot, but uh, definitely a whole lot better. Also, the grass assets, those are from Graswald. Um, they look really nice. I did use the same daisies uh, that I have in the scene currently. Um, yeah, a lot of detail in their assets. Um, so while, like I said, that loads and it looks bad. Um, this is Graswald, $99 for the pro version, $49 for like a, I don't know what the regular version is, but I'd probably go the pro version. Um, I mean, just from their demo stuff, like it looks like you can make some super high quality looking uh, renders. Scatter 4.0 slash 5's coming, another option. And then uh, this is Botanic by Polygon. I have it torn between this one. Uh, these are all 3D assets from their program. Or Graswald. 30, 30 more dollars for Botanic, but might be worth it. Yeah, this this scene's poorly lit. Horizon lines off. Weird like issue going on with the landscape itself. We're gonna put that one as a fail. Two more minutes. Probably should have put the rock wall like along the landscape horizon. Whew, it's been a long weekend and I feel like it's going to be a long week coming up. Yeah, so as you see, in cycles as it renders out kind of each like pixel the more geometry you have per pixel like the longer it's gonna take but you can get some stunning renders if you just create the scene right and light it properly One more minute and we about to be out. Oh, it's really pissing me off that there's this bleed through, the landscape didn't render out properly. But this is a big, uh, big lesson in planning out your scene beforehand. Like it probably would have been a good idea to put the rock wall in first. Then I would have went through and added vertex groups for each particle system that I was going to add and then adjusted them as be. I couldn't remember how to remove weight paint or like the density from it and that would have helped and saved a lot of time to be able to readjust anything but trees look great, rock wall on the right looks great, the left one definitely is just in the wrong spot. Um, and the composition is just 
trash to be honest, but that's that's the way it goes. Eight minute render for that. Uh, on that note though, I'm gonna get out of here and get some errands done and I'll be back later tonight, like I said, around 11.30 and I'm just gonna be more focused on making what I want my client project to be like. But yeah, thank you for watching the stream if you, uh, you popped in. If you aren't subscribed, you know what to do. Hit the button. Throw a like down, comment. If you have questions, you know, follow me on social media. Uh, my Instagram is at Brian underscore Terranova underscore. You can just take my name, add two underscores in there, and we should be good. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back later tonight, 1130. Peace.